peripheral artery disease is a vascular disease is the involvement with plaque and atherosclerosis of the arteries on the lower extremities. It's the same process that happened in the coronary arteries, it's the same process that happened in the carotid arteries. When somebody has atherosclerosis, it's a systemic disease. And um, sometimes the manifestations are with chest pain, but sometimes the manifestations are with leg pain. And sometimes the patient they don't have manifestations. So Nowadays, it becomes very important the recognition of peripheral artery disease. It's important for the patient who have uh, pain when they walk. That means that they have no enough blood to give the supply to the legs when they are doing exercise. But also it's important for the patient that they don't have symptoms, but they do, do have the disease. It has been recognized that probably nowadays there are in the United States around 6 million people with at peripheral artery disease. It's estimated that there are around 20 million people with the disease, but it's unrecognized from them. In a short term of five years, after somebody diagnosed with peripheral artery disease, their prognosis of that disease is not good, and mainly because it's associated with high incidence of stroke, high incidence of myocardial infarction and death. So you put that all together, the mortality at five years of being recognized of peripheral artery disease is not much different than the mortality that somebody can have with the colon cancer. So that is to give you a real perspective of the magnitude of this disease and the importance of this disease. So there are many risks for this disease. Genes they play a big role, high cholesterol play a big role. But smoking is a huge offender. Somebody who smokes, the risk goes five times up. Somebody who has a high blood pressure, the risk goes two times up. Somebody who has the cholesterol not well controlled goes between two or three times up. So you put all together, um, you make the perfect environment for this disease to progress and advance. As I said, very important uh, recognition of this disease and there is a big emphasis of all the big institutions that to ask all the doctors to start to support the disease. Uh, it's happening more often in the measure your age. People that are around more than 70 years old, almost 15 to 30 percent of the patients they have peripheral artery disease and this is a big number. For an aging population that you have in the United States, it, it's, a, it's a big concern. So, there are two reasons, I would say, to make a, a final conclusion on this um, introduction, why you are interested in peripheral diseases. One, because you want to prevent the patient who have vascular disease to progress to heart problems that would cause big complications. And the second is because those patients, um, they need their legs for the daily activities. Um, so you want them to be able to do more with less claudication, and also you don't want to them to progress to the point where they develop critical ischemia with ulcers and open wounds in which the risk of losing a leg is very elevated. Mm -hmm.